These people live with a mysterious condition with no known cure called fibrodysplasia ossificans progressiva, or FOP. FOP is one of the rarest conditions known to mankind. You'd need to fill 20 stadiums in order to find one person who has FOP. In the United States, there are fewer than 300 confirmed cases. It's an extraordinary condition that causes bone to grow unchecked where it shouldn't. At any moment, with the slightest trauma, even a simple bruise, muscles, tendons, and ligaments can turn to bone. Joints can fuse, threatening to imprison patients in a second skeleton. And once the new bone forms, it's there to stay. FOP is a worse form of unwanted bone formation known to mankind. It's also a metamorphosis unique in human biology. The only case known to medical science of one organ turning into another. In the body, the heart doesn't become the lungs, the liver doesn't become the kidneys, but in FOP, the muscles, tendons, and ligaments uh, become a second skeleton. Good. So you're, you're At first glance, 28-year-old Holly Polano appears to suffer from a particularly severe case of arthritis. But she's been living with FOP since the age of 16. I live with FOP every day of my life. The scariest thing about FOP is that it's permanent. I'd like to take a look now at uh, the range of motion in your neck, and I'd like you to look down for me. Thank you. Can you look up? Okay, so that's about 50% of, of, of normal. Over the 12 years that I've been living with FOP, um, it's affected numerous areas of my body, including my neck, my back, both of my arms, and my shoulders. Her doctor, Frederick Kaplan, is the leading expert on FOP, having examined virtually every patient worldwide. Maybe we take a look at your back. Sure. Okay, Patients like Holly can experience new bone growth at any time. The first signs are painful swellings called flare-ups. I see here some areas of old bone formation, but they look old. They don't look like uh, new flare-ups at all. Since muscles develop micro-tears when they are pushed beyond normal use, something as innocuous as basic exercise could trigger a flare-up, or something as severe as a fracture. Basically, anything that results in inflammation, the body's response to physical trauma, could be the beginning of new bone growth. If I have a flare-up, um which could be caused by a simple thing, such as bumping into something. I'm faced with the fear of knowing that that joint or that organ can lock up forever. When a healthy person experiences trauma like a bruise, the immune system kicks into gear. Immune system cells flock to the site of the injury. They consume damaged tissue and repair it. But when people like Holly experience the same injury to their muscles, tendons, or other tissue, these cells cannibalize the body. They ravage both damaged and healthy tissue in the trauma region. In the wasteland of dead tissue, a few living cells remain. They are stem cells, cells able to transform themselves into different types of tissue. While in an ordinary human, they would form into scar tissue or replacement tissue, in FOP patients, they morph into cartilage and then bone. Eventually, ribbons and sheets and plates of bone replace the body's skeletal muscles, cross the joints, lock them in place, and render movement completely impossible.